Hey neighbor, I'm your host Keisha G. So welcome to our first show ever. You have tuned into the best thing that's going to be different from all the YouTube bloggers that you've seen before. Different from all the extra talk shows that you've probably seen. Because we're going to have the exclusive on wigs, wig extensions, different products. I'm telling you, you are the best place right now. So Hey Neighbor is going to actually be the go-to place to get all the scoop on the hair industry. And we're also going to have a guest co-host each week that's going to be going over some different topics. We never know who it's going to be. So it might be your favorite YouTube blogger, or it might be someone random off the street, or it might be you. So I am excited to introduce you to an actress that is well known. She has been on some of the things you've probably already seen. Uh, Amazon Prime, a series of one. For my man, Hot Boy, this is Miss Joy White. Hey there, how are you, beautiful? I'm oh, hey, How are you? You're looking awesome. Thank Don't you? you look good? I know that's right. How are you? What's going I'm on? Wonderful. Well, before we go into me, I just want to first congratulate you, Thank you on this new show that you have. Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> And I want to thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so excited to have you. Now, I know your viewers just saw the Runner Suit clip, which I'll talk about a little later on the show, but I wanted to go ahead and let the Cosmo Biz Magazine readers know about our feature on the Dear to the Party as you were on the set last year. Mm -hmm. Guess what, everyone? We are now in negotiations with a worldwide distribution company. Yes! yes. So you all will be able to see this worldwide. I want to let you all know, just keep following me. Either on Instagram, okay. Actress Joy White, mm -hmm. or on my Twitter page, Joy White 30 And I will keep you all up to date on what's going on. I'm so excited. Well, I'm definitely going to be following, so you guys should too. I need the scoop. Yes, well, I need your opinion. We're actually going to do go into celebrity looks and rate them either hail or fail. And I need your opinion as well, too. Please comment down below which person either has a hail or fail. And you can be honest. You can be honest. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see this. I know, right? All right, yeah. so let's see here. So we have Miss Jess Hilarious. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. First off, mm. what is up with that little ponytail? You see okay, my face? we're gonna have to say fail on you that see my one. Face? Uh, you know what? She is so hilarious. I, I see the name, and I, I think she was definitely doing some sort of comedy sketch with that hair, because that is definitely a fail. That's <laughs> an epic fail. I'm just gonna be honest. That's oh. an epic fail. As an adult, you shouldn't even be doing that. Yeah. Say that for the little girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Okay. Let's go into our next person. So for this one here, we have the Real Housewives of Potomac, Miss Robin Dixon, transforming her shoulder-length look into a platinum pixie cut. Oh, mm. look at that. She okay. killed that. Yes, she did. She Not everyone that. can do a cut look, but look at that. Uh -huh. She can, you know, I can see her rocking both. You see what she went from before to after? Yes, that's definitely a hail, everyone. I'm going to have to give her the hail yeah. on that yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. She pulled it off. She pulled it off. Okay. So let me see what you think about the hip hop star Regina Carter, which is Lil Wayne's oldest daughter, uh, showing off her new color. Yes, Regina, mm -hmm. look at that hair. Oh, that's so beautiful. And I think the color matches well with her complexion. So I'm gonna hail her for having that, yeah. but if I tried to put it off, that would be a fail. Yeah. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna give it to her. Yeah. Right, kudos you to you. You got the hail, girl. All right, now. That's so cute. I love that. But I have some uh, footage of what we did earlier. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You're not going to show them what we did. Of course I am. Okay. You all can have a good laugh on me. Yes. So get ready. I'm about to put you on blast. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's your girl, and we are here at Bella Brown. I am so excited. But let me find my friend, the award winning actress, Miss Joy. One second. So what do you have there? Girl, I got these kiss nails. And I'm oh. thinking I can wear these and rock these on the red carpet on September 30th. <gasps> well, but let's find a look then. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Girl. So what type of style are you looking for? Do you want to do that kinky curly? That Sasha Fierce. Yeah? No, we're going to leave that for Beyonce. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's see. What do you think about that? Hey, I can rock this. Come on. I think that's a no. We're going to put that one back. But hey, let's look at this one over here. Oh, how about this natural? Oh, oh, okay. All right, okay, let me put well, this back. I but got that one, what kind of forever, but. Well, that's why we tack, well, we it, down. tack it down. Yeah, so, we, we're so going to get that. We're going to get that. Let's see. You got to find something. I mean, look at all of these. You're going to find something. How about this one? 
No? Oh, I need this what one for me. Girl? Which for one? Oh, I, I think I could do some color. Um, little flare for my natural look going on right Yeah, that looks like you're going to the strip club. We're going to leave that one right there. Okay, so right. let's see. Red carpet. Red carpet. Okay, yeah, let's not, see. Not sure. Oh, this is cute. And see, so you know what? Look at Ooh. these Bobby Bosses. Oh my gosh, you know, they're so cute. Like that, yes. I could, no, you on. know what? You know what? No, 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 no. Like put it back, put it back, put it back. I got an idea. Put it back, put it back, put it back. Excuse okay. me, excuse me, excuse me. Can I borrow you for a second? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. What's your name? My name's Tisha. You are so pretty. Oh, Come on over. So, so we need your help, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, So we yeah, are, yes. Yeah, well, she needs some help, <laughs> yeah. actually. So she's actually looking for a style for tonight. And what I want to do is I want you to be the host and actually judge whether we're going to slay or nay the hairstyle for that event. So with that said and done, I'm going to give you, yeah, I'm going to give you this. So okay. that way you can pick, uh, we can actually pick the event from here. And then once we pick the event, you're going to let us know if we slayed it or we nade it, which I'm going to slay it so that makes sure I pick the winning one, right? I'm going to slay it. No, 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 no. That's not, okay, gonna, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And then you let us know when to start and go. Okay. Cool? Okay. All right. So I'll pick one. Yep. You pick yeah, one. You head to your seat. You oh, head to my seat over here. Yes. Okay, this is where the section right here. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. So you let us know when we're ready because we are going to slay our right, nade it. Da, na, 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 na. So, so mm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, I know what I got. So you let us know when we're ready. All right, ladies, are you ready? Yes. Get set. Uh -huh. Go. Go! When you see your ex is attending the same party as you're going to. Ooh, that looks good. I can see that. I can see that. Okay, and mine it? is Bachelorette Weekend in Vegas. Come on. Did I slay? Um, or was it a neck? I mean, I know it was You neck both slay. Moment, <laughs> oh, okay. We both won this okay. one, girl. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> no more mistakes. I gotta get my A game on. I don't know what happened. Well, okay. Are we ready? Be real now. Okay. Oh, okay. Bobby Boss. Bobby Boss. Oh, I remember that Bobby Boss way. Yeah, the Audrey Hunt, she revolutionized millennials today as we know. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm a win. I got the look. But you were struggling. I feel the power. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wow, that's great. You know what? Uh, oh, don't forget uh, your lips, guys. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about that. See, I already had some stuff because I used too much last time. <laughs> I told you a lot of pink. Mm -mm, take it high. Uh-huh. Mm. I don't know which one to do. Mm. Let's see, okay, let's you right. Oh, yeah, that look good. That look good. Okay. So, uh, all right, ladies. All right. You're going to go first. I'm going I'm to let you. Let's go first. Okay. So, mine is at home, and Bay Call says, baby, I'm coming over. Oh. Ooh. Yes. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I like Come that. on, baby. Come okay. Mine says, company holiday party with new coworkers. Mm, I don't really right. know about yeah. that wig color. Mm -hmm. See, that's you know what I mean? Like, well, would y'all, would you go Yeah, with I mean, hey, if I was on set, this would work. But maybe not company, because, you know, company, they'd be like, what's she trying to do? She trying to turn up. I mean, all the time going at a holiday party. Yeah, but, yeah, on set, this would work, but not, 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 not for regular company. Not for business, you know. Well, we'll let her decide. So, okay. So, did she say? Well, or did, did she say? Or was the neck? She slayed. And I, Sorry, you made. It's all good. It's just the color. I named. Yeah. I named. It's okay, it's but I'm okay. still a winner. It's okay. All right. All right. I'll help you out next time. Okay, you have to help me out. 
Did you guys have fun today? Because that was awesome. I know I had fun. I hope they had fun. <laughs> I got messing up. It's all right. I mean, perfection takes some time. That's right. And, you know, with these bobby balls, but it makes it easier when you have these small chocolates. So I'm just like, love it, love it. Yeah. So and I like that color on you. Uh, thank you. So you said you had some questions. What, what, what I question do. you got for me? I have a question for you. You know, I always think about, you know, the different things that women go through when it comes to hair yeah. and their wigs and their look. But how do you determine what your uh, look or your wig says about you? What? Because you have so many things going on in the industry. And, yeah. You know. Well, for me, I always take in mind what I can use with the wig. Mm -hmm. Continuity is so important as an actress. You have to make sure that you're able to, you know, one, I like versatility. Right. You know, wigs that are long enough that you may be able to wear it up or down. Right. One that might actually make you look even younger. Because mm -hmm. you never know if you might have to um, go back in time as a character. Yes, and keep your youth. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we try to keep, keep our youth, you know, <laughs> working out, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I really find that it's so important to be able to um, do different things with your your wig and you know and to have that look like if I was supposed to be maybe a, a housewife right you know you want to have something that doesn't show off too flat flashy and it all depends on what the time period that you're also working with right you know so right. you know I like what I can do especially when I'm hearing about this Bobby Boss wig I can throw some curls into it mm -hmm. you know or flat iron it where it's straight right. you know right. it's so important to have those things yeah it is curl and iron safe so you can actually switch it up whenever you'd like to so you actually get you know those multiple looks out yeah. of that one wig and so that's a, a that's a plus. I always say that if you can actually maximize that wig, you're saving money, you're saving time. Exactly. And I mean, why not even do that so you don't mess up your hair, you know? I know, it's so perfect because like even when I was filming for The Dearly Departed last year, mm -hmm. uh, I would wear it across my shoulder mm -hmm. or maybe pull it back to the side. Right. And it was so versatile. Whereas um, in Runners 2, right. when you all come out, I hope, <laughs> you yeah. won't be able to see me with uh, waves, my own natural hair, okay. which meant I had to keep getting my hair done. Yeah. Which was a plus my, my hairstylist from Sky and the Stars, she hooked me up, Patricia, hey girl, she always hooks me up real good. So, mm -hmm. you know, you always have those abilities, like whereas with um, the Dearly Departed, I was able to do, put on the wig myself and do what I need to do. So, right. it's always a great plus when you have something like a wig or, you know, especially if you don't have a stylist on hand. Right, right. And if you're like me, I definitely always like to save money. I know everybody else does. Yeah. So, I definitely, if I can get some different looks out of that wig and not have to mess up my hair or if I don't want to dye my hair at that moment because oh, yeah. not everybody's hair takes well to that. That's true. So I want to get that look, achieve that look for that evening, switch it up by tomorrow and still be able to put it back on next week so I can save that money. So I'm yeah. definitely want to make sure I'm getting the correct one that can get through that rest of that week if I need to. Exactly. So I do have another question for you. Okay. So definitely knowing the industry and I've been had this experience where, you know, I've been at a fashion show and mm -hmm. they're using a wig but if if you have a wig at that time frame and you want to achieve one look and you want to switch it to another, I don't know if everybody knows the factor of how to maximize one wig in different settings. And I know for you, you have multiple different settings to go yeah. to. So I know you don't want to carry like a million and one wigs, do you, no. with you? Or how does that work? Well, how do you maximize one wig for different looks? Well, for me, like I said, I always try to maybe, if it's long enough, I'll pull mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also, you know, you can wear hats along with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I always try to find ways that might be able to um, give me the achievable look of making sure I stick with my brand. Right. You know, a lot of times I'm always being told I look very sexy and I appreciate that. You do, I, give her that. I try to give that look, I but um, I she also. She does, right? Do I? Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I always want to make sure, um, for me as an actress, it's so important to go by brand. Right. So my look has to go along with my brand, along with what the uh, outfit or attire I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. And it, it really helps when you have the length, maybe, of hair okay. that you decide. And it just really depends on what event you're going to and what hairstyle you're, you're wanting to, to wear. Like, for instance, what you have on right now, mm -hmm. I definitely could see thank myself you. rocking that yes, <laughs> on a red you. carpet. Thank and I was going to sell that for September 30th. Right, right, right. <laughs> So thank you so much for everything. As I stated, I had so much fun. And we definitely have to do this again. Oh, you know we will. And then I definitely have to beat you again. So, I mean, I think everybody already knows I won, right? Yeah, about that. You know what? How about we let your audience, uh, you know, kind of chime in. Let us know on the YouTube, underneath in the comment section, who slayed and who named. Yes, please, <laughs> please, Dr. 
definitely Come everyone. on, give me some love. <laughs> Please, everyone, definitely follow us on social yeah. media. You can definitely tag us at uh, Hey Neighbor on IG, Instagram, Facebook. Definitely go on there. Let us know what you think. Also, if you have any questions about the upcoming things that are coming up next week or any hair ideas you may have for me to slay for next week, okay. please. I need your help because I can't do it by myself. <laughs> no, we neither can. Yeah. Can I? You know, you yeah. saw me. I was messing up. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Nichelle J, and I am your official street correspondent for Hey Neighbor. Today, we are out on U Street, and we're talking to individuals about what does their hair say? And if they are trying to translate a message, what are their favorite chemical products or their go-to products to help them translate that message? So, let's get started. So, what does your hair say to individuals walking on the street? Strong, thick, hey, prideful, yes. That I'm natural, mm -hmm. that I'm a working woman, and I don't really have the time to do my hair every day. Okay. So with you wanting to get into the curly hair, mm -hmm. what kind of message do you think that will send people on the street? I think it definitely sends the message that like black women should embrace the hair that they have and the hair that just grows straight out of their head. Mm -hmm. Um, Cause that's something I do want to explore. Okay. I just haven't had the time yet with work and school. Mm -hmm. um, like I'm fresh, freshly graduated. Well, two years out. Of okay. School, congratulations. So, thank you. So, um, but I do want to explore it, and I think that'll definitely send the message that like natural hair is just as beautiful as blown out. Okay. Straight hair. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome back. So, you just came in at a great time. This is our question of the day. This is actually your part of the show where you can actually submit any questions that you may have about the hair industry or beauty industry below, and we'll make sure we'll put that on the next show so that way we can answer any questions that you may have. We actually have a 10-year veteran that is going to give us her knowledge today. Now, this lady, she actually quit her corporate job just to pursue her passion. Tell me that's not dedicated. And also, she's a mother. She's a hairstylist. She is a mogul in the making, Miss Royal Beauty. Woo! Hi, Royal. Hi. Hi. Hey, awesome. Thank How you. Are you? Too. you guys look good. Thank so, what is going on with you? What's new? Oh my gosh, a lot. Like you said, I've just been trying to get the hang of this doing my own thing right. world. And I've but been, you were doing it. I uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I've been traveling a lot, going to events, vlogging a lot more, and trying to get a schedule on my YouTube channel. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you will subscribe to my channel, Royal Beauty. That's Royal, B-E-A-U-T, and two E's. And you can also find me on Instagram. So when okay. I'm not vlogging and posting okay. on there, that's how you know what's going on with me. Royal underscore B-E-A-U-T and two E's. Awesome. But yeah, what's going on with you guys? What's going on well, today? I have a question of the day that I need your expertise. Okay. I really want to learn how to properly put on a wig and mm -hmm. also cut the lace. Okay. That's so a biggie in the industry. You know, this is right up my alley. Yeah, okay, please tell okay, us. Okay, you guys. So what we have here, this cute bob here. Y'all know I like the bobs. Okay. <laughs> okay, so with this bob here, we're going to show you guys how to properly put on a wig and take it off. Okay. Since it's already on, I'm gonna show you how to take it off first. Okay, yes. A lot of people like to just snatch their wig. It's actually a, a term to snatch, snatch your wig off. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to do that. No, no. You can actually, actually <laughs> what we did earlier, yes. remember no. I was pulling off that wig? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We don't no. wanna do that. So okay. with this unit, it happens to be synthetic, but we're still gonna take really good proper care of this lace. And by doing so, you wanna apply some pressure. When you're ready to take your wig off, mm -hmm. you wanna apply some pressure on your forehead, mm -hmm. right where the lace is in the front of your hairline. Okay. And then you wanna place your fingers, use your forefingers here, mm -hmm. and go for the back of your wig. And if you have your comb in, take your comb out, take your combs out of both sides. Right. Okay. And then also your nape. Put your head in the back of the nape and gently pull up. And now you can take off your wig. So that's how you take that off. So now I'm going to show you guys how to apply the wig back onto your head. Okay. So with the wig, it's always going to come, especially if you get it out of the package or just take it off. The hair is naturally going to go all the way into the cap. It just in this cap, it's going to be a lot of hair naturally. Mm -hmm. yes, but you yeah. want to take out as much hair as possible. So you want to go ahead, flip it upside down and shake the hairs. Okay. Cool. And you would do this if you were applying it to somebody's head as well. I'm going to show you first how to apply it to... So why are you shaking? Uh, why are you girl, shaking the you wig? you got to shake these wigs to get them in formation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and once you do that, you go ahead and grab onto this area where the lace is. And naturally, this lace will be cut when you put it back on. But 
we're going to hold onto where the hairline is. And if you're applying it to somebody's head, you want to get behind your client, your friend, whoever, and you want to place it right along the hairline where it's supposed to go, the okay. desired area. Okay. And then you ask them if it's somebody you're putting it on, you ask them to apply pressure just the same way we did when just we took hold. this wig off. Okay. Hold on to that area right there, apply some pressure. Or if it's you, use one hand to hold on right here. Mm -hmm. Use your other hand and do the same thing we did to take it off. Put those four fingers back there and pull down gently and adjust the wig okay. along the nape. And so make sure we put on. our hand on top of the wig. Okay, that makes so much sense. Okay, so when we're going to cut the lace, this is a big question for everybody. You want to be very mindful to keep all of the un all the hairs you don't want to cut out of the way. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to go ahead and clip this like so. Okay. And there's no real rocket science to clipping it out the way you just really want to get as much of the hair okay. out of the way as possible. You don't want to cut unnecessary hair. So once we've done clipping, we got that out the way okay. as much as we can. Now we're going to come and examine the hairline. Okay. Now some wigs come with a perfect hairline. Sometimes you don't really have to do that much. But all of our hairlines are different. Yeah. We don't have all one straight um, hairline. So you want to make sure you don't do that. Okay. By all means, do not call, cut straight ahead, okay. straight across. You want to make sure, for me in particular, I have a widow's peak, so I have to take my time in this area and kind of do a jagged line. You want to do a jagged, not straight. Okay. okay. Think jagged okay. or nibbling. You want to nibble, nibble the hairline. Like you see these right here? We happen to yeah. have a lace unit that has the nibble going on. Mm -hmm. you just kind of do the same thing in this area. And to help, sometimes I refer my newbies to get a pencil. Oh, like I see. This white one here. Okay. Oh. And just like in school where you have to trace, just trace your little hairline. Oh, nice. Try to examine your hairline. And you can actually put this wig on your head first. Use the pencil and trace your hairline. That makes Got sense. it. Got it. So it's very helpful. So if you want to do that, you're new to it, try that. Drag a pencil, then put it on your mannequin head. I do prefer using the mannequin head, mannequin head to cut my lace because mm -hmm. I can see. Don't cut it when it's on your head. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And do you <laughs> use scissors or I see you got the, this I'm, razor here as well. Good question. Thank you. So I have a scissors and a razor. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and I'm going to show you guys what kind of razor. If you can hand me what Oh, those. absolutely. Thank you much. Okay. Now. I'm going to tell you guys first with the, with the scissors because this is the regular, this is what people mostly have on hand that they use and what they end up doing is cutting straight across. You don't want to cut straight across like I said. Oh, okay. Do the nibbling motion Okay. and you're, it's kind of like zigzag. Okay. All right? So kind of nibble, nibble it. So this is one way you could do it with the scissors. I okay. prefer the razor. The razor is it's smaller, it gives me a more precise cut, mm -hmm. and I can really outline where I want to cut. And if you cut a few hairs with a razor, you're not going to you're not this, messing up. Versus butchering a whole lot of hairs with the scissors. So how do you create a natural look on a wig like mine, yes. since mine doesn't have all those aspects to it? Okay, so with your wig, I would, first of all, it's a beautiful wig. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. That's Thank actually, you. you know, the R&B from the True Luxury Collection. Oh, it is. I've yes. heard of R&B. Yes. Well, R&B's been around for over 20 years. In fact, the son started the business based off of his father who started making wigs. And, you know, one thing led to another. They created oh, no, a business line. I'm thankful for that. I know. Thankful for that. Nice, nice, nice. So, this is a beautiful wig. And this color is beautiful, too. I believe it's a TT. TT273, and I would love to wear this wig um, naturally. I love that it has an ombre, but the first thing that I would think of when I looked at this wig is this part. So the first thing that I'm going to do to style this wig is try to get this part area as natural as possible, and I'll start with a heat tool. Now this wig, since it's a human hair blend, can take heat, which means I can apply a little bit of heat here with a curling wand, with a hot comb, or a flat iron, and just help to lay this oh, down. Nice. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I will go in and just lay my hairs mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Oh, awesome. get you that natural, natural, yeah. natural, okay. natural, natural. Nice. Yes, and she can get you natural too. So I sure can, can. <laughs> but you know what? I got a little something. Fun with that loose baby guy. Oh, going hold on. on. You mean to tell me you want to do like oh, a, no, a stay on my head? We'll, hit, we'll, we'll have a little fun. Okay, a little okay. Well, while you guys are doing yeah, that, expertise. everyone, make sure you put your questions below so that way you can be on the next segment and we can answer those questions. Yes, nice. I Comment below. <laughs> what are your go to products to maintain your lovely blown out hair? Can to. Okay. And why can to? I just like the way it feels. Okay, yeah, okay. This is like a common theme. I heard this a couple of times today. Okay. Um, Moroccan oil, um, shampoo and conditioner, as well as, as well as the Moroccan oil, um, like 
shine, like it keeps your, like for when yeah, our hair yeah, is yeah. like this, mm -hmm. I like keep it, it just keeps it like shiny and like straight. I use an African like mega grow grease. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank um, you. think that society now that we embrace black culture and it's so imperative to the society today do you think that their ideas on natural hair within the workplace such as being a lawyer will change um yes I think it kind of already did change mm -hmm. now more people are going natural mm -hmm. if not they're wearing you know wigs most of the time they're natural now yes you don't see a lot of people walk around with perms um <laughs> A lot of workplaces start to allow you to have dreads. Okay. I mean, you know, yes. a lot of other workplaces, they don't, they don't like dreads, but it's, it's just Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, guys, you heard it from the street. What your hair says can be based on convenience, attitude, or situation. Whether you're going out on a hot date or you're applying for that dream job, your go-to hairstyle may change. However, I encourage everyone to find a hairstyle and stick to a hairstyle that makes you feel confident and sexy. And I want to give a huge shout out to Zuri for sponsoring this hair, which is giving you guys summertime fun. So definitely tune in for our next episode where we give you, I don't know, you'll find it out from the street. Have a good one. And hey, neighbor. So for this segment, we're going through our hot slays, which is giving you the step-by-step -step process of how to achieve your celebrity looks with our featured beauty bloggers and stylists. So today we're actually going through the R&B collection, which Joy has this wet and wavy look. So we're trying to make her look like she actually just walked off the beach. Kind of like Jennifer Lopez. Yes. She, she looks so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. How do I achieve that look without carrying a spray bottle with me? Yes, Miss Royal. Oh, I, I got you. That. I got you. Because I heard this is a luxury wig. Like this that. is. Yeah. This is. So let me tell you a little bit about it. This is from their Platinum European collection, and mm -hmm. the wave that we have is a loose wave wig. This wig is actually a very, very valuable wig and people mm -hmm. don't really realize how important these wigs are, how much work has gone into these wigs. Right. Um, they're actually not priced at the price that they should be priced for the work that goes into so? making these wigs. Well, for instance, this wig is a 360 wig and it's also a full lace. Mm -hmm. Full lace means that this wig has hair is ventilated all through this wig, which means that you can part it all throughout this wig. You wow. Know, you have part here, there, part there. It's more versatile because mm -hmm. you have a full lace wig. Okay. You also get the, the front lace wigs, mm -hmm. which only have lace in the front and right. the tracks in the back. This took time. This was about two weeks, probably more. Just the fact that you have to sit and actually literally ventilate each oh hair. Oh my so gosh. So this means someone did this on their own. They actually sat down own. and did this on their oh own. So yeah, this takes a lot of time and a lot of wig companies. Any full lace wig you see took a lot of time. Right. It took a lot of time mm -hmm. and we actually get a steal. So we don't realize the luxury we have yes, sitting in our no. homes. Nobody's that sitting there. So they're undervaluing just so we can purchase the wig. Yeah. yeah, because That's this amazing. takes a lot of time and so it's... It's, it's something you really want to take good care of. Right. So I'm going to show you guys how to create the wet look with this hair, but mm -hmm. I'm also going to tell you how to properly take care of it, properly get the wet look. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, mm -hmm. myself included, as beauty bloggers, take shortcuts in right. order to get the yeah. look, which is fine, but not on the long run with some really, really good hair. Like this. So is this considered human hair or? It is human hair, 100% Remy hair. Thank you for asking. Mm. So this is 100% Remy. Remy hair, and Remy means that the hairs all that all the hairs are going into the same direction. Okay, um, and that is very good because it, it lessens the shedding that you get. No naps in the back. 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 You do not want shedding mm -hmm. um, and tangling shedding. So. All of it goes together to create this masterpiece of a wig. Nice. So this is a wet and wavy yes, it uh, is. type, but wave. can you also flat iron this or do other things with oh, it? Oh yes, it's 100% human. Oh. So you can, you can do that. Um, but most times, especially during this time of the year, it's mm -hmm. summer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us like to rock the wet look. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 like, just got off the me. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you guys how to get this look. Okay. 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 Because of the fact that you already you don't have it wet right now, we are going to use a bottle of water that does have some protein in it. You can use your favorite protein products, whatever okay. you like. Um, switch it around in this in this uh, water bottle here. Mm -hmm. I like to use a bottle that has a nice mist to it okay. because you can just. 
nicely apply the water versus drenching yourself yeah. if, you're, if you're already dressed. Yeah, you yeah. don't want a jerry curl. Makeup, sorry. No, 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 no. no jerry curl. Okay. I don't think so. 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 so my makeup. <laughs> so a nice mist. Okay, so we're going to go in first and you want to wet the hair. Okay. okay. I'm going to start from the bottom. I kind of have a question because I know you did this out earlier. Yes. Um, are you like basically reactivating? That is a good question. Okay, so for those of you at home, we did already do this side. So I actually am just reactivating the product that was already placed on this side. Mm. I'm going to go to the other side and show you how to do it from the beginning. But what I put onto this product, it's not actually uh, a product that you will find everywhere because it is only at Neighbor Beauty. So you will find it there, but it is a product that's worth going and getting because this will give you the wet look that you want, but also take care of your hair. It is 100% organic, and as you can see, I only reactivated that side, and it's still I like that. But why, so why would soft. you use the organic product as opposed to what we grew up on mousse? Because oh. that's the only thing Good that question. I knew was the mousse. Good question. I mousse no. and I'm, I think I over mousse it. Slap a little mousse on there, you so, go to go, right? That's what we, we were all, thinking. I know I did. <laughs> we all do. We still do. Some of us still, because you know, not everybody can. Uh, splurge, but at the end of the day, when you're taking care of really, really good hair, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're getting quality products. So that makes sense. I'm going to show you the quality product because this is what I use on the other side to achieve this nice wet look. Okay. That's what's going to last and take care of our hair and also um, not cause for any damage to this luxury wig that we have. So okay. the product that I'm using is going is Cebu. Mm -hmm. And Cebu is a um, all natural organic. Right. So what I did on this side was wet it up like I just did there and then I took a little bit of this and I put it on my fingertips mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then I ran it through. So I'm gonna do this side for you guys really quickly. Why? And you guys can ask me questions. Yeah, I'm thinking, why the fingertips? Because I know me, I'm gonna throw it on the pot. Right. right. Or I get a bristle brush or sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the fingertips, again, you're using your fingertips. Um, if you do your hand, if you put in your hand, and I'm gonna show you in a second why okay. you're not doing that. If you put in your hand, you're kind of like trying to work your palm onto the hair. It mm -hmm. just causes more, more drama for you that's really not really getting all the product on there mm -hmm. or it's causing for you to not be able to distribute, evenly distribute the product through the hair versus your fingertips. Just like you see me wringing my fingers through right mm -hmm. now, I can bring the product through. Can I put my fingers in it? I'm trying to try it out. I'm like, this is I'm just sitting here like, like in there. Like, this is crazy. Come on, this is awesome. hair. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love this. This is You're my so favorite cool. look. Look at that curl. I had so much fun with you guys today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. This was our very first episode, so thank you for tuning in with us. I definitely have to give some big thanks to our co-host, Miss Joy White, our Cosmo Biz Beauty blogger, Miss Royal Beauty, and some of our sponsors that definitely helped out. I want to thank R&B, Shea Moisture, Cebu, Bobby Boss, Details, and Bella Crown. So I am so excited to see you guys next week because this is just the start of it. It's about to get a little more interesting. So hopefully you tune in and also drop your comments below about anything you may have questions about. So I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Bye, neighbor. Bye. Bye.